Hello, it's Maureen Legas with your 21 Days 2017 series, and today is Day 12. This week we're talking about the Playster websites. Uh, KW has an agreement with Playster, and they're uh, powering our KW websites. Um, NAR members also have access to Playster sites at a reduced fee. Um, so we're talking about Playster. When you come into your MyKW uh, dashboard under KW Websites, it'll take you over to your KW site. Click Go to My Website. And um, we talked yesterday about the um, mention that if you have a um, luxury membership, you might have two sites. So I'm going to click to edit the site. I'm going to go to the, my regular site, not my luxury site. And today we're going to discuss the themes, so different themes that you have for your websites. So let me show you my website. This is the Plymouth theme. And the Plymouth theme has, uh, the font is defined like this. You can see what the font looks like. It has a logo up in the upper left-hand corner. The social media buttons are over here on the right side. And then the pictures slide through the top of the um, the top of the site, and then below that is the search, followed by featured listings, followed by your blogs. And so that's what the um, the Plymouth theme looks like. So let's look and see uh, the different themes that you have to pick from. And so what uh, separates this? The photos on this theme are squared off. The social media buttons are a little bit larger over here on this right side. So let's look at some other themes. So under the site settings area, you'll find your site design and you'll see theme selection. And when you click that, you can cycle through all of the themes available to you. If you're luxury, if you're a luxury member, you might have some luxury themes. If you're a commercial member, you might have some commercial themes. So I have nine possible themes on mine. Plymouth is the first one, and that's the one that I use. The second theme is called Fremont. And see the difference with this theme, it has this little tab that comes down on the left side, and that's where your social media buttons are. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Okay. So here are the social media buttons. You can, the the um, client can sign in here or register to have an account on your site. The tabs are across the top here, has a little button, sign up now, call to action, and the photographs are uh, across the front, and they can slide. You can have up to five sliders. That's Fremont. The Franklin theme has a little bit uh, taller photo that's not as wide. So this Fremont and the Plymouth theme, the photos go to the far ends of the site, and it's l wider, but not as tall. When you come to Franklin, the photos are a little bit taller, but not as wide. And then the buttons here, well, that went too big. The buttons here, social media buttons are on the upper right. Your logo is over here on the left side. Um, and then the search is above the pictures, on top of the picture here, the search box, featured listings below. This is the Phoenix theme. Phoenix also has a picture that is not the full width of your computer, so it's for a little bit taller pictures. Um, the quick search button is here. It's not across the photo and it's not below the photo. There's a button that says quick search. Social media buttons are across the upper left side, so they're a little bit smaller. Um, and then the logo is over here on the left side and then the um, tabs for the menu are below that. I'm going to show you some of these live so you can see what the, the uh, font looks like on the, um, on the websites themselves. The Sedona theme, again, the, not the full width of the website. The photos are taller, but not as wide. The search is on the right side of the photograph. Um, social media buttons, where are they here? Um, right here. They're not buttons. It's spelled out LinkedIn, Facebook, and there's a small little icon next to them. All right. The Toronto theme, again, a taller image. This is the search here. There's a quick search here or the search box is above the photograph. Menu buttons, social media buttons, and the 
uh, logo over here in the upper left. This is the Madison theme. Now Keller Williams um, has a Madison theme that's specific only for Keller Williams agents. So if you're not with Keller Williams and watching this, then you would not have access to the Madison theme. So the photos uh, have the search box appearing on top of the photographs. The uh, menu buttons are over here above the photo and up here at the top are the social media buttons. And I find those a little bit too small. That's why I picked the Plymouth. Um, the photos that appear on the site are in circles on the Madison theme rather than squares. So you have to make sure your photos are sized properly. And um, let's see what else. And feature properties below. There's a Madison luxury theme. This one has the luxury colors. It has the logo over here on the um, upper left side. Again, the search boxes above the picture or on top of the picture and the icons for social media are up here on the upper left hand side. And then this one is Madison Metro theme. It's a white header, has a KW logo. Again, Madison, the buttons are up here. It's the same layout as Madison. If you look again at mine, this is the Plymouth theme. So I put the luxury logo here, um, even though it's not the luxury theme, I put the luxury logo on that, that um, site. So let me try to go and change um, mine to some of these other themes. You can see what it looks like larger than what it's showing here. So again, I have the Plymouth theme. If I wanted to have the Fremont theme, I could select this. You would also choose your color combination. So let's say I wanted to have a blue color. Pick that and then save it. Now, it'll automatically change over the site. So that's all you have to do. So you can try this. You can add your information, try the different themes, and see what you like about them. So look at this, the font here where the uh, logo is positioned, where the social media buttons are. I'm going to refresh this now. Changed it to the Fremont theme. It has my luxury logo, which doesn't really look very luxurious with the sign up now and the this register button. This doesn't look like a luxury theme, but has the buttons across the top. If you noticed on my um, Plymouth theme, there was only one level of menu buttons. On the uh, Fremont theme, there's not enough room, so it goes into two levels. So I'd have to switch this around because I don't want two lines of, um, of menu options. You really want to try to keep that on one line so it's not confusing. Um, let's see. The search is below the picture, then featured properties, and then the about and some testimonials. Social media buttons are down here. So you can try this one and see what you think. All right, I'm going to go to the next theme, which is Franklin. See, I can pick my color with Franklin too. I'm going to pick a dark color. Oh, I should have shown you that. The, the font is similar to the Plymouth theme font and the color for the, um, the typeface. It's the grayish color and slide over and it becomes blue. That's what we had picked. Okay, so Franklin, I'm going to pick dark blue and I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to go back here, click on my uh, logo. That'll take me back to the uh, homepage, refresh it. And now this theme, what did I call it? This is the Franklin theme, and it looks like this. So this looks like a typewriter typeface. There's a bigger separation between the menu items, so it wraps around the second line. The um, branding is a little larger. My luxury logo is a little larger. My social media icons are over here on the right side. When you roll over, it turns blue, just like um, the color we had selected. The search box is on top of the photographs and they slide through featured listings about is up here between the featured listings on other themes it's at the bottom and then down here as we move through we have the social media buttons again and then um, any of your associations that you have here okay so this one is Franklin let me go through to Phoenix. I'm going to pick Phoenix theme. I'm going to pick a dark color. Let's say I'm going to pick green this time so you can see the difference. Save. Come back here. Click on the logo. 
and then you can see the green accents. If I roll over, things turn green. Again, a typeface is more like a typewriter or a computer. It wrapped around to the second line, which I didn't like. There's a quick search here. The logo has changed places. It's over on this side. Social media buttons are up at the top. Photographs transition through. The blog comes first, and then featured listings, and then um, the um, testimonials, and then the buttons down here again at the bottom, and the highlighting is in green. Go back to the themes from Phoenix, Sedona. These are very similar. Um, if I pick the this theme, I'm going to pick, I could pick a multicolor and save it. You can see that these other themes, the photos here are almost across the entire page. If I change here to the Toronto theme, I think this is Toronto. Let me go back and look. Toronto. Then you can see that the logos here, the colors uh, change as I roll over them. Um, social media links are over here on the upper right hand side. And then the menus are here above the search box, which is above the photographs. So this would highlight the search box as being the most important thing on the site. Featured listings about, they come down here, and then the blogs are not on the main page. Um, they would have, you'd have to go to the blog page for those. So go through, try the different themes, and then when you pick the one you want, so I can go back to my Plymouth theme, it doesn't disturb anything by trying it. Go back to my Plymouth theme, pick my dark color, save it, come back to my site and refresh it, and it goes back to just the way I had it. So there's no um, concern with trying these out and seeing which ones you like best. The only other thing to consider when you're changing the, the theme is the search form. So you would click on search form, and depending on the theme that you selected, you can pick which type of search box you want on your main page, and then what search box you want on the search, if someone clicks to search for property. So you can have a smaller search form on your main page and a larger search when they click to search for property. So here is the search on your main page. And then when they click listing search, it'll take them to the sub page, the listing search page, and that's where you can have more um, options to search for. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.